Hello everybody, and welcome back to Simon Says, this is Simon Well, uh, on my own now, and um, Disconnected. sorry, I forgot that there was, anyway, um, I'm going to be uh, heading off to the desert, which was originally why I was making, helping make this rail, so let me just uh, show you guys what's going on again. Um, so here is our uh, DIN map. This is where we sort of left off with the the rail track. Got pretty far, but um, that's how much more we would have to cover to get to that desert. But anyway, we're just going to walk there. Um, walk there today. Um, so honestly, not that much of an issue, at least for right now. I uh, really should uh, censor that Discord thing. Oh uh, yeah, um, the Discord update with, uh, with that chat is dear. Uh, so, um, so now I can set up an overlay of the, the Discord chat, which looks nice. I might look into styling it though. Anyway, so let's grab our boat and uh, I don't know why I didn't um, put some of this stuff uh, put some of this stuff away before, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. Whoops. And we're back. <laughs> so I may as well take this with me just in case, but I might not need it. So yeah, so um, it's been a while since I recorded on a server. I've tried to do a couple of recordings, but um, it's not gone very well. Um, basically I lost a bunch of stuff um, from dying in stupid ways or oh, even in not very stupid ways the um, thing I've really <laughs> wow that looks really weird the thing I've really noticed is that I really need to uh, get better at using my shield um, but that's okay um, she reset the uh, sort of uh, quote unquote reset the little obsidian adventure thing. Um, so that means uh, people who haven't seen my videos can experience it for the first time, um, which is actually really exciting. I'm kind of glad I haven't. Uh, at the time of uh, recording, I haven't put up those videos yet, so uh, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, so yeah, that was that's good to hear. Apparently, uh, spicy's spicy rab's gone through it now, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, oh, something that I don't think I've actually mentioned in the video yet. I mentioned in one of my first few videos that I was going to um, that I was going for my driving test on uh, the 4th of July and uh, on Independence Day I got my driving independence <laughs> so yeah I actually passed that and um, uh, I was really nervous going in because like my la the pr last lesson I had was uh, basically I, I kind of uh, had a bad time but um, I don't know if it was because I got that uh, that bad drive out of the way or something but it went a lot better this time around um, so yeah um, so I can actually drive and I've been uh, doing a lot of driving already um, well I mean I drive every night to work basically and for the most part that's been uh, all I've been doing that said I actually do have a little bit of a story um, so for whatever reason um, my license didn't come in the mail at all um, so I rang them up uh, oh uh, huh 
Okay, that was... I mean, that was still a bit of a trek, but uh, I didn't realize that it was as close as it was. Um, yeah, so I rang up the uh, Vic Roads. Vic Roads being uh, basically equivalent to a DMV. Something like that. And, um, yeah, I organized that with them, and I had to go in on. Uh, On Tuesday. Oh, and there's the village. Uh, to. Um, what did I need to do? I needed to. You know, let's. let's uh, okay, I did bring my bed. Good. Um, basically, I needed to um, get that finalized or do something that somebody screwed up um, so I got a new picture taken just in case um, let's keep looking around I want to check out this village first uh, actually I'll uh, set up yeah I'll get these reeds as well because I may as well uh, set up a reed farm of sorts back home <laughs> Um, if you missed my uh, episodes with uh, Hinchy and Phil, I do have some other plans as well. But, um, but um, that's part of why I'm here. Um, but um, yeah, so I went and got that sorted, um, which meant I had to drive by myself from home to. Um, to the Vic Roads, which is on the other side of uh, Bendigo. Um, and then... Let's uh... Ah, oh, man, I... I totally could have used you. Yeah, well, I'll check these guys out because I might be able to. Hey, come back. Might be able to uh, make use of their services at a later time. Oh, well, I can definitely use you. Um, oh, hey, carrots. I actually could use some carrots for home. Um, oh, yeah. Somebody's. Uh, Yep. And, uh, sorry, I got distracted. So, yeah, driving by myself was, uh, scary, honestly. Uh, um, sorry, I'm just gonna look at the map again. Okay, so, uh, wait, let's drag it up because I want to see oh wow okay um yeah all right I may as well I may as well uh, keep heading north then um, yeah so yeah that was really scary and the reason that that was scary is because you know it's still my first month driving but um, all the driving that I had been doing was, had mainly been, uh, oh, whoops, had mainly been, um, uh, just from home to work and back, essentially, so, like, I didn't, haven't really been doing, like, uh, doing other routes, I mean, I've been, um, like, now and then I try to change it up, oh, look, there's a savannah biome, oh. might get a couple of saplings from there. Whoa. Um, but yeah, so this was a <laughs> quite a different route and while it was off most of the uh, the more populated, well, it's off most of the populated roads. I still had to go through a couple to uh, actually get into where I needed to go. Um, so that was 
a bit of an adventure and then I had to go from there to work um, well I stopped well I kind of did it the long way because I went from uh, from Vic Roads to a KFC in um, again on the other side of town uh, that looks like could be a temple could be a temple of some kind um, you know, since I was about anyway and I was starting to feel hungry. Yeah, that's definitely a something. Doesn't look like sand. Oh, but it is. Totally looked like some sort of structure. There. Anyway, hey, I'm surrounded by uh, sand and sand and sand. Um... And then from there I drove to work and it was a little bit better that I, especially especially that I was retread some of the route that I uh, had gone on the way over to KFC. Um, I was basically using my GPS to guide me to everywhere because, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it's it's been an adventure, <laughs> essentially. Um, yeah. So what I ended up. Oh. <sighs> so. <laughs> um, but that's been basically the only big drive that I've. Well, actually, no. There was one other big drive that I've done since I got my license, and that was. Uh, basically being in charge of driving everybody to our grandparents and uh, that was scary for, for an entirely different reason I more or less knew the route but um, but that was mostly roads where I was doing the uh, had to do 100 degree uh, 100 degrees yeah uh, 100 kilometers or more Actually, no, I don't think it was ever like more than 100 kilometers an hour, but yeah, basically it was, I was going really fast for most of that, and I also really uh, had to pay attention more so than ever to the actual route that we were using, so it was, it was a thing that happened um, but I'm actually enjoying the driving otherwise it's just you know sometimes you know, sometimes you gotta work yourself up to it but other, other times you just have to sort of like throw yourself out there so that's sort of what happened in the end all right um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my waypoint here. Um, so there's that, uh, but um, I would like to do some caving on this side of the world, so let's find a cave. Not that I'll be doing much caving like right now because oh, that looks like uh here we go. Just want to see if this goes anywhere. might do and honestly right now more I need more iron um, which is part of the reason why I'm out here anyway besides just uh, going to the desert for sand uh, um, yeah <laughs> I need more materials and 
I'm like I don't think my my cave system like the the the, the mine shaft back home is exhausted I don't think it is um, but I feel like it have a better chance of getting stuff the further out I get That's, that's my idea anyway. Um, <laughs> we will see, of course. Here's another sort of cave-ish thing. Just trying to figure out if this is worth going into like like properly because uh, it looks like it's just starting to go up again yeah all right that's blocked off god damn it um, Have a look back here. Mm. Well, that's a neat feature. Like, that was honestly pretty cool. Um, out there let's let's sleep and then uh, yep Just trying to think of what next. Let's uh, chop down some of these acacia trees. Because, you know, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, get more saplings and such. Here's some cows. Uh, Should have thought about uh, getting some uh, some leashes just in just in case. I was nearly about to drop the iron ore for some reason. Uh, yeah. So what we can do is we can uh, have one of our uh, beetroot soups. Uh, sure, let's grab some cactus as well. We can uh, grow that, I think. Shit, yes. Although it's uh, quite a drop. Uh, 
Well, I guess I could uh, hole up in here or something. Like uh, bridge my way across and it, and then uh, yeah, let's. Alright, so I just sort of uh, quickly put together a uh, quick bridge across. Uh, let's set up a little base in here to uh, smelt and sleep and such. Put torch down there, torch in here. Um, may as well mine this because <laughs> I mean it's it's right there. go let's make ourselves a furnace here as well and put our bed down I think another good thing to do would be to uh, uh, let's make let's make free chests this one is for all of our other stuff. Uh, so let's put those away. Feels good. And the, then these can be for like our ores and stuff. But let's get the. Oh. Didn't realize I'd hit more ores in, in, in there. Anyway, all right, this is going to be the uh, end of the episode, though. Um, so our little uh, adventure begins, and um, you know, getting lots of iron here, but uh, hopefully we'll get enough both for um, home and for this little uh, rail system that we're. Uh, starting to make and I'm gonna get some stuff uh, smelting and uh, I will see you guys next time bye